A train groping and a murder seem to occur simultaneously. Yagami relentlessly pursues these cases, attempting to poke holes in each. After confronting Akihiro Ehara, the key figure in both crimes, he witnesses a harrowing video that provides more questions than answers. In it, a bound man pleads for his life, but his attacker, bound by vengeance, snuffs it out. So the murder footage is already making the rounds online. I don't think it's showing up on TV, though. Yeah, the net's a mess right now. It's all unsubstantiated rumors and unverified sources. Typical, really. An ex-top going from by-the-book sex offender to vigilante avenger overnight is prime forum drama. Sentiment seems to be swinging in favor of Ehara, but there's plenty of folks on the fence about it, too. The reactions have been all over the board. Do we know if that video is authentic? I mean, CG has come a long way, right? Oh, or perhaps a deep fake. That is plausible. AI has reached a point where it can generate pretty convincing facsimiles. Someone even made a video that made it look like the US president was saying a bunch of crazy stuff. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. Deep fakes are only getting more authentic looking. Can't guys like you tell if a video is fake or not, though? Aren't there any signs? Oh, there are several telltale signs of a video being doctored. So I ran every check I could think of on the murder footage. And wouldn't you know it, nothing came up. Most likely, we're looking at the real deal. Most likely? Well, no one can claim with absolute certainty that it wasn't altered in some way. Which means it's not substantial enough to prove Ihara's guilt. At least not in a court of law. Gotcha. Do you know when and where the footage was uploaded? It was posted sometime last night, but the source is too hard to pin down. The uploaders spread it across multiple servers overseas in a well-concerted effort to hide their tracks. Makes sense. But I'll bet it ultimately came from Mikoshiba's killers, no matter how real or fake it is. How do you figure? Think about it. No one could have staged that unless they knew the specifics of how Mikoshiba was killed. From how he was positioned to little things like the blood on the ground, every last detail was just as the detectives described it. That's a good point. Oh, all this browsing's really taken a toll on the old pinky. Looks like another visit to Ehara might clear things up. You should ask Shirosaki-sensei about it. Yeah, that was my thought too. Let me get this straight. Ehara went and felt a lady up on the day Mikoshiba got killed on purpose? Oh, if that's the case, why the hell would he upload a murder confession after the fact? Is he trying to get caught? Only Ehara could answer that one for you. I want to ask him that question myself. So, we're off to see saori -san, then? Let's roll, talk.
Mafia. You're here? It's been too damn long, Mafia-chan. Yeah. Uh, by any chance, Yagami-kun, are you working on a case for salary? Huh? A video got leaked. It depicted a man committing a murder. Are you here about the Ahara case too? Of course. The prosecutor's office is in total chaos right now. Especially the higher-ups. I'll bet. After all, they're the ones who pushed for Ahara's battery conviction. If that video is real, that would mean Ahara got them to hand him a slap on the wrist instead of a murder conviction. Yes. And it's not like the prosecution can say, Sorry, Your Honor, we'd like a do-over, after the fact. To make matters worse, everything leading up to the trial was broadcast all over the news. Changing our tune now would undermine public trust. That's for sure. So, for the time being, our department is trying to predict how the defense will approach the situation. Hence why they sent me here to check in on my good friend Salary. Totally no strings attached. <laughs> well, that clears up a lot. There you kids are. Figured you had to show up sometime. Mafia? You? You're caught up in this too? Yeah, she ran into us downstairs. I'm sure you can work out that I'm here to spy on you. But wouldn't you like to know what we're up to as well? Are you sure that's your only motive coming here? Sorry? Something like a professional excuse to see Yagami-san? <laughs> in your dreams? I had no idea Yagami-kun was involved until just now. All right. I'll accept that. For now. <laughs> Gotta say, I miss this little banter. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Needless to say, our office is going through this footage with a fine-tooth comb. That said, they've already determined their stance. They've deemed it an unreliable source and therefore useless as evidence. Basically, they want it to look like it was considered and already thrown out. Huh? So, they're not gonna verify the video? Not even question Ahara about Mikoshiba? Nothing? Nope. Not after it was proven in court that Ahara committed sexual battery on October 7th. I mean, wouldn't you say a conviction has a certain finality to it? Besides, there's no way Ehara could have murdered Mikoshiba within that limited time span. Right. Which means the murder video doesn't really add up, does it? What are you getting at? I'm saying the prosecution believes the video has been falsified. Special effects, CGI, whatever it is, we're not buying it. Huh. Furthermore, the prosecutor pushing that stance was the one who handled Ehara's trial. And that is... His name is Sadao Takano. He was the one gunning the hardest for Ahara the first time around, especially considering his officer status. He kept insisting justice be served, which got the public behind him rather quickly. He certainly looked the part of the people's prosecutor, grilling Ehara in court. So what you're saying is, Takano could never accept anything but Ahara's original sentence since this footage of the murder contradicts that finding. He just thinks it's a sham. Yes, and he'd add that a fair trial's result can't be challenged by some video on the internet. Well, who could honestly trust a system that changes its mind so easily? Both the prosecutor's office and the court are beholden to the case as Takano-kun presented it. But that's just sweeping the issue under the rug. It has a domino effect, too. The police are beholden to the verdict we got, so their hands are tied. This applies to both Tokyo and Kanagawa. Really? Why's that? Supposedly, they don't want to get involved with Ehara until they're sure the video is real. They come in with a list of questions about the murder, 
It'll show that doubt's being cast on the original ruling. Yeah, but no one can prove that the video's real. Right. There's no way to verify the legitimacy of an untraceable video. But if the police aren't allowed to see Ahara, he'll never even become a suspect in the murder. That means he's untouchable. Exactly. None of the detectives are happy about that. Especially down in Kanagawa. Their job is to bring in a suspect, but their leads are all ending up at the same dead end. Until recently, people were lining up to bring a heart to justice. Yet somehow, his involvement in a murder totally derailed that. Don't be so surprised. No cop would ever want to undermine a ruling based on their own findings. Anyone who wants to go against the grain is going to need hard evidence on their side. So the case goes cold, all to save face for the court and the prosecution. If Ahara really did commit murder, it'll have been the perfect crime. This debacle only serves as proof. True. It would turn the trial into a farce. There's no way we're letting this go. But wouldn't challenging this mean going up against the entire system? Yeah. That scare you? Not at all. In fact, I was just thinking, we're the only ones who could take a case like this. Ha! <laughs> That's the good shit, kid. This whole time, we've been writing off Ahara as a convicted sexual predator. But it's looking more and more likely the court played right into his hand. As for me, I'm done being played for a fool. Then you've heard what I came to say. And with that, I will be on my way. But if you need help, just ask. I think we're good for now, but thanks. That did clear up a lot. No problem. See ya. Man, was Mafuyu-chan cuter than ever or what? Think maybe it's time to light that flame again, huh? How many times do I have to tell you it's not like that? Anyway, what I'd like to do is ask Ahara about that video face to face. Any chance we could see him again? I was actually about to suggest that. Uh, one moment. It's from Ahara's prison. What? Hello? Yes, this is Shirosaki. Yes, I can talk. His prison? Why would they call us directly? Guess we'll find out. Understood. I appreciate the candor. That was one of the prison wardens. He was asked to convey a message from Ahara. About what? In short, he won't be speaking with his representation any further. You're joking. To be more specific, he said he's not taking any more questions. It seems he fully grasps the situation, even in custody. How... How is that even possible? I'm guessing the murder footage that was uploaded yesterday was also planned out in advance. That or Ahara's conspirators have to be filling him in. How else could he predict we'd try to see him again so soon? I can see either of those scenarios making sense. But only someone on the force could be leaking insider information to him like that. Damn. This shit's turning into a full-blown conspiracy, eh, Tuck? Whatever it is, it's screwing up our plans. Yeah, the timing couldn't have been worse. Now what are we supposed to do? Come on, there are plenty of leads that don't involve grilling the culprit. Yeah? I'd like to hear them. Well, if it were me, I'd start with Sauricun. Okay. The first thing I want to learn is whether Ehara is really the murderer in this footage. Given the entire sexual battery incident as an alibi, there is no way he could have murdered Mikoshiba. However, this new footage knocks the bottom out of that premise. Right. Either his alibi or the murder footage, one of the two's been fabricated. Well, hold on. What if they're both real? Both his alibi and the video? 
In that case, let's start with the murder. After committing the murder in Ijincho, Ehara would have had 13 minutes to make it to Ikebukuro Station. Ijincho and Ikebukuro are roughly 30 kilometers apart. It's possible if he traveled 140 kilometers an hour. <laughs> Is it though? Ehara would have had to change out of his bloody clothes. So he probably ought to shave those 13 minutes down. On top of that, he was traveling during rush hour. It just doesn't seem feasible. Okay, then let's rule that out. I'd say we're making some progress here, guys. <laughs> Boy, you're really reaching for that silver lining, aren't you? I think we should revisit the harassment case. When the sentence came down in court, no one expected it to end up as a murder alibi. Plus, everyone suspected Ahara was working alone. He may have not been. All this makes a huge difference. No one would suspect a train groping to involve accomplices or alibis. The search for evidence wouldn't be as intense as for a murder. But the entire incident was caught on camera, top to bottom. There's more than enough physical evidence, too. Then we'll need to verify each and every aspect of the case. Okay, what first? Should we investigate the crime scene again? Maybe we'll discover something new if we check out the station during the crime's actual time frame. No, I think we saw everything we could there. Actually, if we're reviewing evidence, we could do that from right here, couldn't we? What catches your eye specifically? I ask because fabricated evidence would likely show signs of tampering. This would prove Ehara's alibi doesn't hold up. This part's still getting to me. Well, of course. That's what made us all question his alibi in the first place. Even Hoshino-kun got that far. <laughs> Low blow, sorry, son. You're right. That didn't even need mentioning. You get the picture now, I hope? This part's still getting to me. The security footage of Shinjuku Station. We see Ahara pinned down here. The train arriving in the shot there pulled into Shinjuku Station at 9.12 a.m. What happened to Ahara after he was caught? Station police restrained him upon arrival, then conducted a trace element inspection. This is where following proper procedure really paid off. Within a relatively short time, they detected fibers on Ahara that matched the victim's underwear. Got it. Honestly, everything about this part adds up to me. Yeah, same here. This part's still getting to me. This is one of the eyewitness videos recorded at the crime scene. This is the biggest one, at least in terms of what's been aired on television. Okay, but just to ask, do we know anything about who was behind the camera? He's a male restaurant worker who was commuting at the time of the incident. His video lines up with everything the station's security cameras caught as well. So, no issues there. This part's still getting to me. The trace fibers detected on Ehara match the fibers of the victim's underwear. This makes for essentially conclusive evidence in a battery case. And there's no way he just bumped into her or something, right? The victim wore a knee-length skirt, so the assailant had to expend considerable effort to reach her undergarments. That's not bumping into someone, Yagami-san. The victim reported feeling physical contact right as the train began moving. She said she spent her six-minute ride to Shinjuku in shock and revulsion. Could you describe the victim for me? She's an office worker married to an industrial designer. Also has a six-year-old son. Full name, Yui Mamiya, 30 years old. A wife and mother. 
Perhaps if we talk to Mamiya-san directly, she could give us more insight than that video. She may even recall something none of us know, upon learning Ahara's alibi might have been fabricated. That's a good plan. We'll finally have a fresh source of info. In that case, give me a moment so I can get a meeting set up. We should have her address and other information somewhere on file. Bear in mind, Mamiya-san was the victim here. As the assailant's defense, I doubt we'll get a warm welcome. That's pretty standard for us, I'd say. Nobody rolls out the red carpet for a detective, right? Yeah. Say, Kaito-san, it looks like we've got some free time, so let's say we grab some food. Now that you mention it, I am getting hungry. They want something? Bet it's not a friendly hello. They do look like they mean business. This Arcade's idea of an ambush? How basic. Kaito-san, there's more. Over there, too. Same losers from yesterday. Guess they want to settle the score. Looks like they rounded up some buddies and waited for us to show. Well, whatever the hell they want, let's not get Genda Sensei and them involved. Follow me. Okay. I'm getting fed up with this shit. Why haven't they made a move yet? It's like they're waiting for something. Whatever it is, they're taking their sweet ass time. Hey! Quit dicking around and come get some! What the hell? They're just gonna keep stalking us? Nope, thanks for waiting, assholes! Oh, ah! Shit! Let me guess. You're RK too? Bastard went straight for our heads. Are you nuts, guy? Shut your mouth! That's one down. We're not out of the woods just yet. Went all out on the backup. Is the whole town arcane now or something? 
Doc, we should probably get gone before the cops are all dead. Why? It's not our fault we're getting jumped. Guess their plan was to come at us in waves. I've about had it with this crap. Yeah. At this rate, we won't be meeting Sarisan and the others. Wouldn't want to drag them into this. Point. So why not hit RK at home? Yeah? Why not? Soma and Akatsu are at the top, and they probably remember me. I'll just ask him real nice to keep their goons off our back. Unless you want to keep dealing with these fucking scrubs. I'm fine with making a house call. Any idea where it is? Yeah, a club in the back of Theater Square. It used to be arcade exclusive. Nowadays, I hear they let in thugs from all over. I admit, I'm kind of curious. Let's hit it. This is it, Tuck. Get ready to meet some shady people. Yeah, shady is definitely the operative word here. Can't imagine this place gets a lot of foot traffic. Who knew an entrance to the underground was right here in broad daylight? All right, let's get in there and be done with this. Hey, who the hell are you two? Got some invitations? The Yagami Detective Agency doesn't need any. Say, is Akutsu or Soma around? Detectives, huh? There a problem here? This is a public business, isn't it? About time you showed up. We've been expecting you. <laughs> Nothing like running into an old friend. You want to talk to Akutsu-san, fine. But only Kaito gets in. Why? See, we all knew the Yakuza out in the cold would come around to us once the Tojo clan cleared out. <laughs> know what makes us such a hit? Who gives a shit? We got a system fleshed out. Your average gangbanger starts at rank F. But an ex-Yakuza, a Tojo head at that. Fast track right to B rank. Oh. And just for you, Kaito-san. The boss says he'll start you out at A. Yeah, I'm sure you've got your pick of the chumps. But I'm here to talk to a fucking adult man. So get stepping, and take me to Akutsu. Spoken like a man with some balls. I can see why Akutsu's had his eye on you. What? So I really have to just wait in the lobby? You should thank your lucky stars you're not dead yet. I don't know about this, Kaito-san. What if you need backup? Relax, Doc. All I gotta do is talk man-to-man -man with Akutsu real quick, and we'll be out of here. You heard the man. Now come on. Well, if it's gonna be that quick, I'll just wait right here. <laughs> Do whatever you want. You're shit for business. Ah, oh, come on. Don't you want to be friends?
Hey, uh, think I could use your restroom? There's one inside, right? Go shit on the cement for all I care. Restrooms are for guests only. So, you and RK too? I take it business is good lately. Oh, hell yeah. Recruits are swarming in by the dozen. If you're looking for quick cash and cum, Rocho, RK's where it's at. Plenty of hotties, too. <laughs> wow. And all you do is fool around on your phone. Talk about living on Easy Street. Screw you. Hey, not my fault they don't loop you into the good jobs. Bet those only go to the A-rank guys. You must be, what, F? F minus? The fuck did you just say? Oh, did I offend you? Sorry. Guess some gangbangers are softies. I'll show you who's soft, asshole! Sorry. Getting split up from my buddy does make me kind of an asshole. Suspicious. that new guy get taken to? Oh, I heard Akutsu-san wanted to see him. For real? Was he taken to the VIP room then? Sounds like it. <sighs> Even I've never gotten in there. What makes him such a big shot?
<sighs> Sorry, man. Take a quick breather. You there! Y yes Can I help you? You better stop fucking around! Didn't I ask you for another round? Huh? Another round? You forgot my order already? I want my bottle! Y yeah Yeah, I'll get right on that. Wait a minute. You know what? Fuck the bottle. How about you just mix me a cocktail? But of course. Here, sir. I hate to say it, Akutsu. I'm in a price bracket you couldn't afford if you wanted to. <laughs> I'm not saying you'd need to call it quits on the detective gig you've got going, Kaito-san. You can just give us a hand, help us out a bit when RK needs some real muscle on the field. That a fucking joke? On what planet would I sign up for more busy work? Think you might want to tone it down there, big guy? I've got my boys in the room. 
Being talked to like this isn't a good look. Why would you care how you look? You're a bunch of damn Yakuza. You and Soma are picking up the Tojo clan scraps, yeah? Or do you have a real plan? We'd have the manpower if we wanted to. With all your washed up Yakuza and punk ass kids? I don't see it happening, man. What are you fucking thinking? Exactly why we need more guys like you. Help me show this crew how the big boys roll. I need some authority on this to get it built the right way. So you want me on as a drill sergeant for scumbags? Count me out. Kamurocho's underground river of cash is still flowing, but there's no more Tojo clan upstream to collect it all. There's no more rules. We can run this town however the fuck we want. And once we've got ours, we can slip back into civilian lives to live it up clean as a whistle. You want to be a civilian again? You're kidding. Oh, yeah. Want to have the cash to buy your favorite store, pop out a couple of kids and settle down with a family? Never would have been possible in the Yakuza life. Well, why the fuck would you need me to do that? After you step into the shadow of the underworld, you never really escape from those chains. Don't sell me your bullshit like I'm one of your fucking brats. Huh. Sounds to me like your whole damn pitch just ran out of gas. Go out there and build your dream gang if you want. I don't give a shit. That said, if you keep bugging me about this shit, I'm gonna make sure you regret it. Keep your fucking distance from us. Did you say... us? Are you refusing to join up because you have a partner? Bring Yagami along for all I care. Did you hear a word of what I just said? I'd reconsider that stance if I were you. If you aren't coming along as a friend, then you're my enemy. I don't take work from assholes. Have it your way, then. Hey, round up the boys. Sir. Hey, get off your asses! Uh Too late for that. I knew exactly how this little chat was going to go down. Son of a... <laughs> yeah, well, I knew exactly where you'd be for a chat you weren't invited to. Well, if you're done over there, shall we get back down to business? You're not walking out of here. Uh, if you don't know how to use that thing, you're going to cut yourself, man. Are you sure? You fuckers are the ones who don't know shit. This whole damn town belongs to the arcade now, you know. Now the whole town belongs to you, huh? You fucking morons. You're gonna have to pry this town out of my hands! your ass! Right! Sorry, boss! No! Fuck him up, boys! Oh! 
Dumbass, you down already? N no, sir. Come on, let's fucking do this! Now I understand why you wanted Kaito on your side. Still got anything you want to say, Akutsu? I can appreciate your perspective on this, Kaito. In that case, you better leave us the hell alone. Yeah, we can do that. We get it. It's fine. Right, Akutsu? Why are you here? Aren't you busy? <laughs> Just checking in. You made quite a mess here. Tak meets Soma. He's the leader of the RK. Yeah, I kind of figured. You keep saying we, but I don't think you know what's going on. You just gonna waltz in here and bark orders? Kaito-san turned down your offer, didn't he? And the other guy is Yagami from his own detective agency. Before that, he was an accomplished lawyer. Now he's with Kaito-san independently. It's my job to be running HQ, though. You shouldn't roll up unannounced. I'm supposed to leave you to your own devices? I do have to check in, at least to show my face. <laughs> Got a cold? It's a dust allergy, actually. Tough thing to live with. And I used to catch hell for it in the Yakuza. Quit that infernal sniffling, they'd say. <laughs> yeah. That couldn't have been easy, man. 
I bet they would beat the shit out of you if you didn't blow your nose. <laughs> you know it. I do wish we'd had the time to work together, Kaito-san. You as well, Yagami-san. It may feel like we're a small-time outfit in the immediate term, but RK will grow. We'll show you. But in the meantime, we'll leave the two of you be. Does that work? Finally, some sense. <laughs> Best of luck with the growth. As the leader here, you need brains and brawn. Something else? Your gang was out there searching for some guy in a picture. Well, how'd that hunt end up turning out? He was some kind of girls bar manager, wasn't he? It sounded like he'd disappeared from Kamurocho more than a few years back. You have any luck tracking him down? Ah, uh, we actually found that he's unfortunately dead. Likely murdered. Considering Kamurocho's reputation and the nature of his profession, I can't say I'm all that surprised. <sighs> Got it. I guess I was just kind of curious. Always happy to oblige a detective.